Awesome. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys? Good. Sleepy. Sleepy <laughs> a little bit still. <laughs> well, that's okay. We're going to have fun today. Um, so today, like I said, we're going to be learning how to build with slabs. So a slab of clay is like a rolled out flat piece of clay and it's almost the same thickness all around. And since it's flat, it's kind of like a canvas and you can add all kinds of things to it. Um, so today I have a fun project for us to try. So we're going to go ahead and get started wedging our clay. Okay, and then I'll teach you how to make a flat. Um, did you guys get some fun textures? Did you guys find some fun things? Fine. floor has a bunch of different textures. Oh, I see that. Oh, it's fun. And then we got some. Ooh, I, I got one too. <laughs> we were thinking alike. Yep, and the funnest thing so far is this. Oh, this is going to be really fun. <laughs> awesome. What about you, Madeline? What did you find? Mm, we forgot. That's okay. You can quickly find all mm. kinds of things in your kitchen. Yeah, I'll do it. Okay. Okay. Joaquin, what did you find? What textures did you gather? Um, like the bag things. Perfect. That's great. Another little mm -hmm. bag. Awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, today and like a stick. A stick? stick? Oh, that's great. I got a stick. So my white stick. That's awesome. See my stick. <laughs> What about you, Archie, Crocker, and Sawyer? What kind of textures did you guys find? A little cactus? That's awesome. A little bumps all over it? Not a real cactus. Not a real cactus. It's a little ceramic cactus. Ooh, that looks awesome. That's Perfect. Oh, something so cool. I also found a comb. I can drag lines out on with it or like poke little holes. And I found a necklace. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I thought the cap of this marker is kind of a cool texture. Probably have this. Even the bottom edge is all ribbed. And I found that this little game piece, it can make little circles. Okay. Oh, yeah. Just a string. A string? Yeah. Oh, and this little guy. I'm not sure. It's a little oh, toy of some sort. So yeah, those are my textures. Awesome. Okay. I'm glad you guys found some fun textures. All right, let's go ahead and get out our clay. I already got out my clay. Cut off a new piece. piece of Lego. What is it that she found? And a piece of Lego. A, little, a Lego? That's perfect. And oh. the cat. Oh, yep. That's great. 
add another marker cap. I awesome. This, this thing, this, yeah, this racer has a little thing. Yeah, that, exactly. Your needle tool has a really cool texture on it as well. So you can use that. Yeah, it'll be fun to create texture. Okay, you guys have your clay cut. And also, I might. Like little peas. That's fun. How much piece of clay do you need? Um. Is this mine? Yep, that's great. You don't want it too big because it'll be too difficult to knead. And we can always knead out more if we need to. I would maybe get a little bit more than that, Carolina, if you can handle it. But but that's a good piece to start with, too. Okay. Let me stand up. Bring it. Smack it into a ball. Or even slam it on my table to kind of square it out. That'll make it easier to start kneading it. Okay, I'm going to tilt it up. And I'm going to push down and away from me. Okay, and then I'm going to tilt it up. Push down and away. And I kind of cup it with my hands to kind of keep it from getting too wide. Oh, it looks like a brain. <laughs> it looks like a brain, huh? Mm -hmm. My little brain said, kind of cute. Can I use the roller for this? And need your clay? Not to need your clay, you'll need your hands. How are you guys doing? Good. Really okay. Your little ram's heads look looking good. Is this good enough? Yep, that's looking good. And keep going just a few more times to make sure it's really good. Most ceramicists will knead their clay like 80 to 100 times, but I'm not going to make you guys do that. <laughs> but they really want to make sure there's no air pockets. Okay. And then when you guys think it's pretty good to go, you can start patting in the sides. Yep, that looks good, Carolina. And then rolling it out so it's nice and smooth.
Okay, and then we're going to kind of shape it back into a ball. Okay, and then once you get it into a ball, you can start flattening that ball out a little. So it's going to be more flat like a pancake. Um, um, I think it will be smushed like a pancake. Flatten it out like a pancake. And I have these little stick things. I'm not sure. Did you guys get some of these stick things? Kristen, you know? Stick no, they don't. That's fine. If you guys don't have them, that's fine. Um, I thought the gel rods were for the rollers. So they have rollers, but they don't have those square sticks. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Okay. So you guys got your little rolling pin. Mine's mine's an actual rolling pin, but you guys have little rollers. You got your little rollers. Yep. I'm not done with mine. Okay, I'll wait. Hers is good now. Is everyone ready? Yep. 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 Okay, so we're going to start rolling this out and just very lightly back and forth. Okay. We don't want this too thin, remember? We don't want it any thinner than our pinky. Okay, and we're going to try and roll it out to where it's kind of even the whole way. And I just kind of wiggle it back and forth in the center and work my way out to the edge. Back and forth. Just a little bit over time. Well, never get to ask if, if there's one place that's thicker than the other, just work on that little area. Just try to make it as even as you can. I have these little six stick things on either side so that it doesn't get any thinner than that and it keeps it the same the same thickness but it is, it's fine if it's not completely the same thickness we want something that's like a little bit bigger than our hand How's it going? Good. Good. It's like making tortillas. Yeah, like making tortillas. Making a clay tortilla. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to get our little needle tool. Kind of like a pencil for clay. Are you guys ready to move on? How are you doing, Madeline? You about ready? 
half. Okay. We'll wait for just a minute. Okay, now I'm done. Awesome. Okay, you guys got your needle tools? Okay, be careful not to poke yourself with it. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to place our hand on top of our clay like that. You can, you can spread out your fingers a little bit. I think it'd probably be best if they were all together, though, like that. Okay, and then we're going to draw with a needle tool around our hand. Have you guys ever traced your hand on a piece of paper before? Yeah. So you're going to do that in your clay, like tracing your hand in the clay. And then when you get to the back side of your hand, you can just lift it up and connect it to the other side. Like that. Did it turn out good? Yes. Yes. Yep. Awesome. Okay. Now we're going to go back over that line with our needle tool and we're going to press down all the way to the table to kind of cut it out. Just like scissors. Yeah. So we're just going to trace over that line again. Very carefully. Go slow. Yeah. All the way around. Have you guys ever made sugar cookies? Yes. Yeah. And you like cut out your shape? Yeah. Just like this. With the cookie cutter. Yeah. And then we're gonna, and then there's always that, that dough around your cookies shape. And you just lift it up and then take it away and you're left with the part you want. So you can just lift up the rest of your clay that you don't want and leave just your hand. Now I'm going to go around the edge with my finger and just smooth those edges because there's little um, sharp edges and bits of clay sticking up everywhere. And I'm just going to smooth it out. Because those little bits of clay will get really sharp once we bake it, if we don't smooth them out. Edges. How's your hands looking? They look good. Oh, awesome, Julia. Okay, now you guys can play around with your textures and press your little textures into your hand. And create all kinds of different designs in your hand. I'm going to use my little necklace 
make little balls in my clay. Little circles. I think I'm going to go around the entire edge. What kind of textures are you guys using? Mm, I'm going to use... I'll use this Lego. Piece. What are you using, Madeline? This Lego piece. Oh, the little Lego? Awesome. Because I love Legos. Oh, well that'll be perfect. To represent you and your hand, all the things you like. And love. Yes. So you can put any texture on it? Any texture you want. Yep. You can draw with your little needle tool. I guess I'll draw a heart, a mini heart. Yeah, you can draw a little heart. You can layer your textures over each other and see what kind of effect it makes. That's what I'm doing. Cool. Mine's kind of sticking. I might use the back of my needle tool. All done. All dredges cleaned. What texture are you using, Joaquin? Um, those bags and the stick. Nice. And the needle tool. Is it turning out cool? Yes. Awesome. Because I love snakes, the um the avocado bag kind of looked like scales. Yeah, it does. That's totally right. Yeah. It does look like scales. I guess I'll, I'll just use this. Oops. Oh. Well, you can draw. Mine kind of looks like, um, have you guys seen those signs with the little round lights all the way around it? Yeah. Mine kind of. Mine kind of looks like that because I have little circles going all the way around my hand. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm putting it on Ooh. my fingers so that it makes that design. That is an awesome texture. Is that a little tiara? No, it's actually a fork. It's it has a really cool design. On oh, it's a fork. Wow, that is a really cool design on that. Great find. Okay. And, um, we also found this seashell that has a great texture. Oh yes, seashells are awesome. Seashells. You guys like the fish? Roll it. All around my fingers. The sharp needle where it has the um texture, it almost looks like um stepping like van shoes. <laughs> That's awesome. It does. If if you push something into your hand and it gets stuck and you can't pull it out. You can use your needle tool to pry it up. Okay, when you guys are all done making all your textures, um, we're going to need like a, a bowl, like a shallow bowl, you know, like this. Not too curved. You can ask your mom to get you one. So I think I finished. Okay. What are you supposed to do? Because we got, um, um, we got disconnected from the, um. Oh, did you get disconnected? Okay, we're still just making textures in our hand. Okay, and then we're about to do the next step. So, um, for the next step, we kind of need like a shallow bowl, like a paper bowl or a cereal bowl or something like this. A paper bowl would be better, so that you're not using all your cereal bowls. Do you want to see my hand? Yes, they do. Ooh, look at that! Love it. 
So creative. I think it looks good. Yes, it looks great. Okay, when we're all ready, what we're going to do is we're going to put, carefully grab your hand, get it off the table. Okay, and then we're going to put it inside of a bowl. Ooh, the perfect, oh, so that when it dries, it's going to dry with like a little curved shape. You see that? So it's going to make kind of like a little dish that you guys can put like in your entryway table or on your desk or something and your hand can hold things like you can hold like your little knickknacks or your keys or some earrings you'll make this nice little dish to put something on when it dries awesome Fun to have, huh? Any next steps? It's like your, it's like your hand holding something. Awesome, Carolina. Hey, we're all done with that hand. I was gonna do it. Yep, we're going to roll out another slab, so you can just like, just like cookies, grab your clay and just make it into a ball again. This is a little hard. Put your, put your hands in the bowl, like this. Hand is over there. So it can hold something when it dries and we can fire it. We can make another film. You can make another one if you'd like, Carolina. You can make your other hand so you have a left hand and a right hand. I didn't say that. I didn't oh, you're not. I wanted to make another one. Is well, you're welcome to if you'd like. I'm going to wedge out my clay just a little bit. Is this good? Yep, that's great. How are you doing, Archie and Crocker and Sawyer? Did you get your um, Archie is up on um, doing clay, but for today. Oh, okay. Crocker and Sawyer then. Well, we're doing good. You're doing good? I already made, I already made one and um, I want to make another one. Awesome. You can make another one. Okay, and so just roll out another flat piece of clay. I'm going to show you something else you can make, too. This is mine. I didn't see it, Sam. Ooh, look at that. Love it. I love all your fingers. Those are fun. Okay, I'm going to flatten out another piece of clay, like a pink cake, and I'm going to roll it out again. Oh, Miss Jess, the bucket that we kept our textures in is actually a texture. Yeah! Weird. That's so funny. When you start looking for textures, you find them everywhere. Yeah. That's kind of fun. Like you didn't even know you were surrounded by so many textures. Okay. So, if you guys want to roll out another piece, there's, there's lots of options of things you can make. 
So I thought of a house. I could cut this out into the shape of a house. And then I can use my clay to make some like a door and a window and flowers and a roof. Ooh. Or I can cut it out into like a fish bowl and I can shape some little fishies and put them on there. Which one do you guys want me to make? A flower. You want me to make a house with flowers? Probably a house that has a little bit of some flowers. Okay. Awesome. And you can make a fishbowl if you like. So I'm just going to use my needle tool to draw a house. No. I saw, I saw a little board on the inspiration page, so I think I'm going to try to make something like that. Awesome. Yep, you can make whatever you would like. These slab pieces are great for anything. And I also wanted to tell you that if you have any candy, if you have any cookie cutters, this is a great um, thing to make with a slab is you can cut out cookie cutter shapes. And I really like the idea of having like Christmas cookie cutters. Like a little Christmas tree or something. Because then we can poke a hole in it and we can make little ornaments for Christmas tree. Okay, so come to Christmas, we can put play ornaments on the tree. Go get the shapes. Oh, you want some cookie cutters? I'll go get some. Yep, you guys can go get some. What did I make? How come we're using Christmas cookie cutters? Just because it would be fun to have a Christmas ornament that you made to put on the tree come Christmas time. But you can use whatever cookie cutter you'd like. It doesn't have to be Christmas. Yeah, we have tons of cookie cutters. Wow. I guess I'll make a little heart or a big heart. Yep, you can make a heart. Okay, I made my little house. Oh, Carolina found some beads. And some of the beads are, and the beads have kind of some some shapes and awesome. Hey. So if you make something flat like this, this is called a bas relief. If you add like little things to it. And when we add clay to another thing of clay, remember we have to score and slip. Okay. I'm actually going to make some little coil. Okay. So on my coil, I'm going to score it. And I'm going to score on my little house where I want it to go. And then I'm going to add some water to both pieces. So then when I, when I put it on there, it's going to stay forever. And I'm making my door to my house.
So like I said, you guys can do an aquarium and make all kinds of fish and little sea anemones. Can you make three or two stuff? I mean, what was that? Can you make like a three or two things? Yep, you can make three or two or however many you want. Okay. For my cheese board, I'm not going to put a, a mouse at the end. I'm going to put my cat at the end. Cause he <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, did you see the little mouse board in the curriculum? The yep. little cheese board? Yep, yep. that's a fun thing to make too. Slabs are great because you can make um, straight edges instead of round edges. There's my little door on my house. Oh, I cute. Maybe it needs a little handle. And even this tiny little handle, I'm going to score and slip it. To make sure it does not fall off. And then I'm going to draw some little house jingles for my roof. That is so cute. Maybe it needs a little chimney too. I'm going to cut out a little chimney. Ooh, nice. What are you guys making? I know I'm making a heart. Awesome. I'm making What are you guys making? I'm making And Carolina, what are you making? I'm making a moose. A moose? That's awesome. This is the moose. No, I think that's a reindeer. Oh, a little reindeer? Yeah. Maybe it's a reindeer. Maybe you're right. Okay, so I'm adding this little chimney to the top. And I have to score and slip the sides. Look. Oh, very cute. I love that you drew a little face on your heart. Look. And if you want, you can make a little hole in there so that it can you can put a stem through it later and hang it up. So when I'm, I'm joining this clay together and I'm kind of just pushing it and kind of smoothing the edge together. Make sure it becomes one. I have to redraw my little tiles. She's so happy. <laughs> Cocker and Sawyer, what are you guys making? Okay, it's time to make my third one. What you want to make my third one for? We're making, well, I'm making a house and copying what you're doing, but I have a little more things. Awesome. 
that'll be fun. This is gonna be really good. Look. I think I'm gonna roll a coil for my little flower. And if your clay gets dry because it's sitting here and not not being used, just just wet it with a little water and it'll it'll be good again. He's bored with the cat at the end. Awesome. Ready to pounce any mouse that comes along, huh? To get the cheese. I decided it's not going to be for cutting cheese, it'll be for serving cheese. Oh, perfect. Watch out for the cat, though. Get ya. Joaquin, what are you making? A dog. Ooh, fun. You like dogs? Yes. Awesome. I'll be right, Pac Man. Okay. Now I'm making a little flower for my house and making the little petals by holding a coil. You guys see my little flower? Oh, I see it. It's so cute. It's a big flower for my house. Maybe it'll be like a flower window. <laughs> It's almost like it's just like um a head, but um it's actually a house, and it and you put a flower inside in a hair. Yeah, a flower in my hair, my that's house a, hair. That's a huge flower. Maybe 
maybe it's an award-winning flower like oh, I yeah. won an award for the biggest flower ever. Oh yeah, that's a good It be awesome hand, but I'm gonna make it into a snowman. I'm gonna okay. make it into a snowman. Here. 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 You wanna see your reindeer, Carolina? Wow, that's so awesome! Make sure and, and put a hole in it. Um, let's see. Yeah, you, know, you can just draw a little hole with your needle tool and cut it out. Okay. I'm going to put a stem on my flower. Should I make myself or should I make a snowman? Ooh, a snowman sounds fun. Oh. This is like a show, but we um don't um all of um where the games are. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to draw a little window up here. Take a piece, and you don't get snaps, you want to make a 3D snap. Get the eyes 3D too, so you can make it wearing a Christmas hat, so it could be a Christmas hat. And I like little circle windows. Do you guys like circle windows? Yes. Like especially. Or I can make Olaf. You can make Olaf. That's right. Before I could end the end, I'm going to screw this off. Okay, one head and we'll take the body. Okay, there's my little house. How are you guys doing? Good. All I have is two. One more to make this snowy or over. Three 
Ooh, I love your tree ornament. That's going to be so fun to put on the Christmas tree. Yep. Looks like a girl. Looks pretty ordinary. Ordinary? Yep. Mm -hmm. This could be the mini head. Yep, that's right. Or it could be a pancake. Or it could be a pancake. I'm going to make a little ornament too. I have this little bow cookie cutter. I can't pick it up. Okay, this almost looks like a smooth pancake. Oh, that looks great. It's the perfect circle. I also, made a, I also made a soccer ball ornament for my brother. Oh, that's Ooh. wonderful. It has nothing to do with Christmas, but I mean, there's a lot of ornaments that have nothing to do with Christmas. That's but true. It'll be great to put on the tree to like all the things you love on the tree. I grew up in New Mexico and we love our chilies in New Mexico. And I remember my mom making ceramic chilies to put on the tree. So we had little red chilies on our Christmas tree. You were born in Mexico? Yes. In New Mexico, not Mexico. Oh, I found this candy cane that kind of That's perfect. It looks like a J, huh? Yep. You can hold it like that, like Julia for Julia. And I'll paint it, I'll blaze it red and white. That would be an awesome idea. Yeah, and just put the hole on the other end so when it hangs, it's a J instead of a candy cane. It's well, a candy cane. Like you need a dog with a um, 3D snout. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, so tomorrow I would like for you guys to find um like a toilet paper roll or a um, paper towel roll, like an empty one, or mm. like a bottle, like a soap bottle, you know, like hand soap, some mm. kind of something that's circular and small. Okay. Okay. And I'm gonna teach you how to use our slabs to make something that's tall, like a cup. Okay. Okay. I wish I could just my go back. I wish I could just go back to when I was a baby. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think it everyone was. loves that time. You could just be taken care of. Okay, here's my half snowman. And everybody said, oh, oh, I love it. I love your snowman. Joaquin, I want to see what you did. Oh, hold on. Can you
can you hold it up? I don't know if you're able to. He's very cute. Yep. Score and slip them together so they don't fall apart. Okay. Okay. Let's. And then smooth those little circles together so they become one. All right, guys. Archie and Sawyer, do we try again? think so. Oh, look at that. That looks amazing. Great job. Hey, well, we'll see you guys again tomorrow. Um, remember to clean your tools with some warm water. And then any clay that you didn't use, you can just put back in your bag. And then um, set your pieces aside to dry in a, in a safe place where they won't get broken. Okay? Okay. Thanks for playing with me today. It was fun. We made some really cool things. Yes. <laughs> and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Okay, bye everybody. Bye. Yes. Yes. Do you have something to say, Carolina? I want to show you something. Oh, okay, show me. Wow! Is that a present? Yes. I love it. <laughs> bye bye. Okay, bye. bye. See you tomorrow. <laughs>